Skitty. How do you, oh, how do you go up there? Oh my god, there he is right now. <laughs>Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have some great news in regards to Flip Switch Games War of the Worlds. Before we get into it, I just want to let you know that my very special War of the Worlds video is in production. I haven't got a set date that it will be ready, but it will be released fairly soon. So make sure that if you aren't subscribed that you do subscribe and you turn on notifications so you can see when that video drops. But today's subject is a little bit different. It is about multiplayer. Now, some of you may have seen the amazing clips that was on the Discord server for the game. Uh, you'll see them throughout this video. Oh, there's a oh, f right go back there. to the cabin! Go back to the cabin! No, go back to the cabin! No. But if you haven't seen the footage, uh, here's just the general rundown for the multiplayer mode. Closed testers have been given access to the multiplayer update to test out the servers and to make sure that the game can be stable and handle several players all at once, ready for a wider audience. The cost of the closed testing has also dropped down a bit. Originally it was $100, now it's $75. The reason why they've done this is to encourage a few more people to get involved with the stress testing. And obviously a second benefit, it generates more funding for the game's future development. However, if this is still too much money for you, then don't worry, the game will soon be lowered further to a $50 price. That way more people can be able to afford it. And by that point, I mean, that, that sounds to me like it'd be a wider release because a lot more people can afford $50 than $75 or $100. Whether this is the point that the game will be available to purchase on Steam, I do not know, but it will essentially be a early access release, kind of. Now, the reason why I say kind of is because obviously I don't know for sure, but if $50 is kind of like anyone can buy it at this point, obviously it's not like an official public release per se, but it will certainly feel that way to many of us because most people can't afford to pay $100 for closed testing. But this was a deliberate move back in the day by Flip Switch. This just prevents people who weren't serious about supporting the development from playing. And also it prevents some leaks as well. Flipping flopped. Oh my god! What did you do? Oh my god, what's happening? He's taking out the tentacles. Oh no. But with the price dropping to 50, he's kind of encouraging more people to play. So there'll be probably potentially thousands of people that will buy this now. And by that point, there's going to be no stopping people from making videos on the game. There's just going to be too many people. What I could, The only way I could think that he could contain the flow of people is having a limit to the amount of people that can do this uh, $50 donation and get the access to the game, have a limited amount of people, and then lift the NDA for certain people or nobody, I don't really know for sure. This is obviously very exciting because once more people get their hands on the game it will likely cause the game to blow up and more and more people and other content and creators will start covering the game and we might see a huge surge in popularity which brings more attention and then we'll have a snowball effect going on. Everybody to the drug house, everybody to the drug house basement, go! The drug house basement, let's go, 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 go
an announcement of a release date back in like September 2022. That never happened, obviously, because the game still isn't out. <laughs> but I think Raf may have got a bit carried away. Maybe he was looking at some rose tinted glasses, thinking that he was going to be able to finish the game in time. But ever since then, he has basically just said no like release dates he's only going to tell you when it's going to be coming out when he knows it's ready in a way that's a good thing he's learned from that but yeah i i think that it wouldn't take another year i'm i'd like to think that it'd be out by new year's for the masses to play i think it puts through the wall again yeah how the hell are you up there skeddy how do you oh how you up there? my god there he is right now <laughs> But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we saw the, the multiplayer update coming into the like close testing build uh, for the end of this month. Who knows? I could be completely wrong. I'd like to know what you guys think, though. Let me know in the comments what, when you think the game will come out. When do you think the multiplayer release will be coming out? Is my prediction completely stupid? Or do you agree with me? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Alternatively, you can join my Discord server. There is a link in the description and from my channel page as well. If you want to join my Discord server, we have an active community in there. You can chat to me and some of my other community members. There's also the developers in the, in the Discord server as well, so you can potentially talk to them. But yeah, I'd love to have you in the Discord. And we also do like artwork and stuff in there as well. And there's cool little clips in there. So hopefully you'll enjoy your time in the Discord server. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like because it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. We have surpassed 9,100 subscribers. We are 900 subs to 10K. Let's get keep pushing and get close to that 10K mark. There's about 80% of you who watch these videos that are not subscribed. So what the hell are you doing? Click the sub button, turn on those notifications so that way you don't miss a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.